Hello again. It's me. I'm back. I really miss you. I'm glad I got to read you a story and I can read you some more, but I really miss you asking questions while I'm reading the stories. Do you remember what letter I did the other day? I did the letter S with its stripes and spots and read you the very hungry caterpillar. Do you know what letter comes after S? If you guess the letter T, you're right. T is for tiger. And here's my T picture. And there's our letter T. T is not very hard to make because it's just straight lines. A big T, you do a big line down and then give it a big hat across the top. That's all you have to do. A little T has a big line, but then it has arms that stick out. Sometimes the children point out that it looks just like the cross that we learned about in the story about Jesus, and it does. A cross is shaped like a little T. So that's the letter T. And since tiger starts with T, can you think of what sound the letter T makes when it talks? T goes ta, 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 ta. And that reminds me of what we were learning about way back when, when we were still at school. We were talking about transportation. Do you remember that? That big word that's about how we move things and people from place to place? Today, I thought I would read you two stories about transportation because I like them both. And they both are about a type of transportation that starts with the letter T. The first one is called freight train. Train starts with T. Do you see the big T right there? So this book is called Freight Train, and here we can see the train track. A train runs across this track. It has a red caboose at the back. The caboose is actually like a trailer where the engineers and the people that work on the train live when the train is traveling. It has a bed and a kitchen and all kinds of things in it. It's kind of neat. An orange tank car comes next. Do you know what would go in a tank car? It would hold things like gas or maybe milk or water, things you could put in a tank. Then a yellow hopper car. It has a special trap door on the bottom and they can drive it over something like a truck that's sitting underneath the tracks and open it up. And this is on a bridge. Like, and then they can empty everything out of it when they get to the factory where they need the stuff in it. It's kind of neat. Next comes the green cattle car. Do you know what cattle are? Cattle are animals. So if animals had to ride the train, that's where they would be. Then a blue gondola car. It's just a little car. It can hold all kinds of things. And a purple box car comes next. What do you think they put in a box car? I'll give you a hint. Boxes. Well, that wasn't a hint. I told you the answer. Then comes the black tender and the black steam engine at the front. The tender holds the coal that they use to make the freight train go. Not many trains still work with coal. Now they put gas in them. But, so here's our freight train. It's moving. Can you see how blurry it's getting? Because it's moving fast. It's going through tunnels going past the city, crossing a trestle. Trestle is a name for a railroad bridge. They don't really call them bridges, they call them trestles. It's moving in the darkness and it's moving in the daylight. It's going, going, gone. So that's my freight train book. It's one of my favorites. And then I have another book 
called truck, because trucks are also used for transportation. Here's the big truck. It's at the factory, and they're loading it with these boxes. Can you see the picture? The boxes have bicycles in them. So it's leaving a place where they made bicycles, and it's going to take them to a store to sell them. Here goes the truck down the street. There are signs on the street that the driver has to pay attention to, to know what way to go. Do you see our big red truck? It passed a car and another car. There it is, going through the city street. Oh, look, this sign says there's a tunnel ahead. And this sign tells us how tall the tunnel is. But our truck is going to go in, so it must not be that tall. The truck just went in the tunnel. This green arrow means it can go in this tunnel. This red X means don't go in that one. And I guess it's a good thing it wouldn't go in that one because there's a bus coming the other way. Do you see our big red truck? It came out of the tunnel. And there's the city in the back where the factory was. Here's our truck. It's driving down a hill, I think. Where is it now? It's nighttime and it's stopped to get some food and for the driver and some gas for the truck. It's at a truck stop. Now where is our truck? It's on the highway. It's still traveling. Now it's a rainy day. Oh, it's on a busy highway. Where's our red truck? Can you find it? It's right here. Lots of trucks and cars on the road this day. A bus, a truck carrying cars, all sorts of trucks. <gasps> Look at this busy highway. Here's where a couple different highways come together. Can you find our red truck? It's right here. Oh, this picture's not very bright. There's a big bridge here. I think it's a foggy day, as there's our red truck with lots of other traffic going on the bridge. They're coming off the bridge, and the signs tell the trucks which way they can go. Which way is our truck going? Our red truck is going this way. That says east. Here's our truck. It's not driving anymore. It's backed up to a building and opening its door. It must be at the store. The truck is gone, but now we're in the back of the store. And look at all the bicycles that the truck delivered. So that shows us how things get from the factory where they're made to the store using a truck. Isn't that neat? Well, I'm glad you listened to my stories today. Bye.